the PPC-4 is configured as a support device. To use it in the calibration, we first have to create a support device definition. We can access this through the menu bar, Setup, Support Device, or we can go directly to the toolbar and click on the Edit Support Device button. So we click here, and it brings up our support device editor. And the features of this frame is carried throughout the setup of Compass, whether you're setting up a DUT, another support device, a deadweight test or a piston gauge, and even in the test definition sequence. But in this frame, the features that are common are, are the control buttons down the right-hand side to create a new one, make a copy, save, undo or restore changes, or delete the record. We have the Rolodex button where we can see a list view of all of our devices. Alternately, we can see the scroll bar in the top right-hand corner where we're viewing record one of four, and it can use the buttons to move from the left to the right. In the top middle, we have these tabs going across the top, header, calibration, tolerance, communications. And this organizes the various pieces of information that the program needs to have a valid device definition. So with the PPC-4, if you are creating from scratch, we'll first go and we'll click on a new entry. And this creates a new entry, a generic form, and we'll progress through the tab supplying the necessary information. Uh, I'm going to back out of this record, go back to uh, the existing record. Okay, so the PPC-4 is a flute calibration product, and most of the pressure products produced by flute calibration have a very nice feature that simplifies your responsibility for setting up the device, and that's called Auto Detect. Here in the middle of the page, we have Auto Detect Setup. And by checking this box, or in this case unchecking, you'll see that the information on the tabs changes. The beauty of Auto Detect is that it triggers a database of all of the remote commands necessary for not only communicating with the instrument to get pressure readings and to set the pressure, but also configuration settings such as units, resolution, measurement mode, uh, ready, not ready criteria. So the PPC-4 with Auto Detect, and again, as well as say a Ruska 7250 series instrument, is very simple. We give it a, we start by giving it a record label. This is just a text field. You put something in here that is descriptive to you, so that you can easily identify the instrument when you start a calibration. Also notice that any time that we edit an existing record, we have a bright red bar telling us that we are editing this record. So on the header tab, this is the top level information about manufacturer model, serial number, and owner. But we have a record type, and it's one of a kind. It's an individual. If I had multiple PPC-4s that were very similar in pressure range, I might want to elect to go with a profile. Um, just creates less entries into the database. And so if I have four PPC-4s, I could hit a profile, make it generic, and have one record for all four devices. The unique identifying information, such as serial number and asset number, would be prompted at the time that the device was used for a calibration. But for today, this is a one of a kind, so it's an individual. The manufacturer, if it's a new database, it may not be populated with the drop down menu, and that's that's okay. Just just put your information in here. You can put DH instruments or flute calibration.